Hi guys, it's Leah or Alyssos and welcome back to another episode of Cottage Witch. So I just want to say thank you guys so much for all the support from episode 1 and I really really appreciate everyone that has tuned into the series. And second of all, I did do a couple of things off camera. First, I just want to say I switched my UI to be bigger and personally I like it smaller but I think it might help you guys kind of see how things look. So this is size 4. And the other size is actually 3. And this is what it looks like. So just comment down below what you guys prefer. But I think for now I'm going to keep this. But maybe for the next episode I might do 4x. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. But if you guys don't care, let me know too. So... We're gonna get to all this mess later, but as of right now, I'm just gonna show you guys why is there an enderman at my house. Um, we're just gonna kill you because... No. Okay, okay. please don't get mad at me. I'm sorry. Oh, okay. It just dropped an ender pearl. Oh my god, please. It's okay. Anyways, before I rudely got interrupted, um... I want to show you guys a couple of things before I talk to you all about this. Um, so basically since last time's episode, I've been doing a lot of organizing. So I have been keeping my seeds in this sack over here. And in this sack, I've been keeping a bunch of cool things that I found as well as some books. And I also organize my plants as well as my mob drops. And you know, I'm not going to really put too much effort into all of this because it is very much our temporary house. But I also separated the hexerai as well as the create stuff. Last episode, we ended it with me going to a building and basically dying to these ghosts as well as skeletons. And I basically went back to that house and cleared up all the create stuff that I could get. Some of these things are pretty complicated to craft or simply we don't have access to them. So I thought I would just take them. But over here... I just have been gathering materials as well as some foods and also just a bunch of loot that I found from last episode. For this episode is even now, I asked for name suggestions and it Amanda actually suggested the name Venice for this dog slash wolf and Sunny also agreed with that so I'm gonna go with Venice. I think it is so so cute and maybe the pink collar doesn't match but for now we're gonna keep it. Once I get a name tag, you will be the first pet that I name. So yeah, I basically just organized my chest, I've been clearing up this little farmland over here, and I've been getting a lot of stuff. My plan in a future episode, or maybe today, is actually plant some of these trees, and- Oh no! Okay, Whew. I'm so glad that we have that, like, mob griefing off our area. Um, I could turn that off whenever, by the way, but I don't feel prepared to turn it off. But let me know what you guys think. In the future, I might turn on mob griefing, but for now, we're just going to keep it off. But I have been planting these witch hazel logs because they're so pretty and I want to use them for my house. So basically, what you're seeing here in front of us, I have just basically started like a house outline or an area outline. And I basically added these like cobblestone to represent some stairs going up as well as on this side and over here I kind of want my house to have sort of like a base below and then on top is the actual house. I have stairs somewhere around here and this is roughly how big I want the house to be and below will be like some special rooms. I really like to do like bottom areas in the house. I think they're really fun for me so that's kind of my goal and it might be this tall it might not um by far this is just like a rough sketch and these are also not the materials i'm gonna be using um they're just blocks that i'm placing for now because it's all i have access to moreover on my plan so i was actually looking around this a little bit and i obviously cleared this area up but i thought that over here we could leave this like an empty space because it actually leads to this like really beautiful cave which i lit up with torches and i feel like we could make them into like random cute little rooms or something um i'm not really sure what the plan is but i don't know it's gonna be super naturey i know that because it looks really really pretty 
I don't really have plans for it, but I know that I just want to make it pretty. And over this way, um, I decided that I'm going to put kind of like an archway to the left side of the house. Because it kind of leads into like beautiful nature area too. And obviously it gives us room for expansion. So there's going to be an archway here that leads to like a pretty garden or something. I don't know. I've also been planting the trees that I got and yeah. I also cleared up this area here thinking I was going to make my house here. But I don't think that I'll be doing that because I ended up liking that area more just because it was taller and... I don't know, I think it just made sense that it was like on a higher level um, instead of this, which is a little bit low. But let me know what you guys think so far. Not sure what I'm gonna do for today's episode just yet, but I know for sure that I want to visit this tinker structure. And I would also like to go mining so that we could start gathering materials for myself as well as start building this house. I literally wish I had a mount to go to this tinker's house, but I don't, so... It's really, really close. I don't even need a mount. I've been using the slime boots and... Wait, I just think I found like a really cool mythic mount. <gasps> what? what? See the blessing from the great and noble sunbird. Where did the sunbird go? <gasps> did he die? Did he oh, I see a wolf here. Hello, wolf. I got blessed and then he dipped. No. Oh. Maybe you have to like do something special for that mount. Okay, I do see the tinker structure. Is it a create or tinkers? I can't even. I'm pretty sure it's tinkers. It's uh, so cool. It looks so different from the last time I saw it. Because I've seen something like this before. Oh, there's faxes. Oh. I don't think you've been to this one. Tinker's Workshop. Become the latest test subject from the Tinker. Oh, sweet berries. Don't mind if I do. I got glow sticks. Somebody definitely looted this, though. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely me. Definitely. I got a name tag. I can name my um my dog, finally. Oh, for sure. If you get to the, the end, you can get like, a lot of diamonds. And, like, sure. Yes. Planter. Cocoa beans. Wow. Oh my gosh. There's a... Is it a Komodo dragon? Oh yeah. It's locked outside, right? Yeah. Raw copper. Oh, I will take this raw iron, girl. As well as this coal. <laughs> I'm gonna ship this house naked. Flint? You get permission first. Knock knock, I will be taking your whole house. Um knock, knock your shit is my shit. Exactly. Wait. Okay, cool. Another saddle you shouldn't have. I feel so bad because I'm just gonna put everything in here for now. First come first serve, what is it? <laughs> God damn it. This is why every structure I see, I'm just gonna loot it because you're in the server. Yep. Every it's structure just... you see, you're gonna go loot it and realize it's already been looted by me. <laughs> <laughs> well, I know Tradex has been here, actually. Oh, is he actually? But I guess he just didn't loot everything. I don't know it, why. it goes pretty deep. Like, you take, it takes a while to get to the very bottom of it, unless you just like skip everything. Damn. There's a bunch of like create stuff here, too. Which is like so handy. Ooh. Yeah. Wait, I'm gonna take this and the site. And limestone. Oh my god, no. I'm taking down the whole building and I feel horrible about it. But I like the blocks. Um... Wait, you're right. It goes down. Ooh, what is that? Whoa, this house is so pretty. Dude, this has a lot of things on it. Oh. I don't want to ruin this. Oh, man. Almost an enchanting. Oh, Crafting blueprint. Emeralds. Empty map. I don't want to mess up this house, so I will be leaving. Um. No, 
know you got a strip of it. A strip of everything. It is. <laughs> it's so pretty. Okay, I'm gonna go take all my stuff back to my house, and then I will go and loot the structure here. Wait, I want to check the structure out real quick though. Um, pedal towers. Oh yeah. That's what I. Okay, loot. I think it might just be like a good spawner. Yeah, there's a couple spawners. It was taken out by the <laughs> These spiders are scary, not gonna lie. Dang, Nabbit. More name tags, yay! Not the skeleton wanting to be a part of the drama. No, more drama. They found another rainbow bee. Another oh, the skeletons are falling from like the ceiling. Yeah, some of the spawners are hidden, so you can bring blocks. Hit me. There you go. <gasps> Wait, one of them dropped a skeleton spawn egg. Yeah, right? You just get random spawn eggs from Ooh. <laughs> ah, I'm gonna fall, I'm gonna die. Okay, I'll be coming back for that tower another day because it's too dangerous. <laughs> I can't do it yet. Okay, it's now the next day in real life, but basically. I had decided to give up on the battle tower as well as the tinker's workshop and it's because I just don't feel prepared for them but the tinker's workshop that I did loot, I got a bunch of the items and placed them in my chest but I plan to go back to it because apparently it goes way deeper than what it actually looked like. It looked just like a regular player house I would say but there's actually like a whole like storyline and like dungeon to it so I definitely want to do it another day and when we go in that area again um I also will be doing the battle tower and yeah I think it's doable it's just I don't really want to commit my time to it for the episode because there's other things that I want to get into. Before we progress more into today's episode I actually wanted to name Venice over here because we now have a name tag. Hello, Venice. Um, it's really nice because we could actually just snake right click the name tag and we don't need an anvil. So that's really, really cool. Um, and there you go. Venice is now named and I think we can actually have him wander. Um, hello? <laughs> You're free to do whatever you like. Go crazy. Actually, come over here. I'm kind of scared of somebody opening like a door or something. So, you know what? Just stay in the furnace for now, just because I'm terrified. As for my quest, um, I have been gathering things off camera, so there's a few more quests that I was able to get done. And I'm not going to claim everything right now, but I did get this um, survival skills like achievement or quest done. Um, it's basically me dying, or not dying for a long time, and... We also had some changes in the mod pack where we had to remove the graveyard mod because it caused issues for a lot of people, as well as myself. And also, just like a little preview of everything. A lot of these quests that are missing, I think we might replace it. I think those were the mods that were basically removed. So I'll update you guys on those, but right now it's not important but we also got this planter one which comes with a lot of really cute things so i'm excited to claim that one um there's also this page there's also the building and decor page as well as storage and then we also have some progress on the create because we have obviously been picking up a lot of the items from those structures and we also got some wildlife quests done as well as the globe trotting and this one is the battle tower actually um 
I'm not gonna do it right now. I'm not gonna claim anything right now. I just wanted to show you guys like a preview. So nothing bad, nothing crazy. I just wanted to show you guys. But because of that little battle tower thing that I did, I actually lost a lot of my armor. So I just obviously replaced them right now. Um, and for today's episode, I want to go down this mine because I actually found, I believe, is what a cave entrance i'm gonna put away my slime stuff but basically i want to go down the mines today and just gather a bunch of materials we are also lacking on the food department because we've just been living based off of like apples and bread which is not good for our diet according to the server okay i'm finally here but you guys didn't see it but i actually dug some holes around this area and i actually found this little cave system I am pretty terrified to go into the mines, but I'm just gonna try to take as much as I can. And we got an achievement. Mine a gemstone ore to obtain a rough gemstone. Oh, I literally thought that that was redstone. Okay, I'm gonna go and take this tough and a deep slate plant fossil. Ooh, plant fossils. Okay, cool. So this is from the unusual prehistory. And we basically just found our first fossil. I didn't even realize we had that mod, so I'm pretty excited for that. I don't have any torches, but I think we're just gonna kind of send it down this cave and just really hope for the best and that we get something. What the heck is that? Well, this is a spider, but what is that? What are you? Oh no, oh no. I did not mean to do that. Okay. From the Ars Nouveau mod. Okay, we're gonna eat up a little bit. Oh, they're charging. What? I'm scared. I feel like those things can sneak up on me anytime. But I want my fossils. Thank you. This one we can't mine until we have diamond, which is fair enough. Okay, I just turned off my shaders because I think this might be really painful to record without, like, um, torches. <laughs> and I don't have any wood right now, so I just turned it off for now. Um, so I hope that you guys can see a lot better. I did make the brightness higher, so, yeah, I mean, even I'm kind of struggling to see around me, but it's fine. Um... I feel like I'm not really seeing a ton of ores, or really any at all, if I'm being honest. Um, got some redstone over here, as well as more cinnabar, and more fossils. Oh, what the heck? The, what? Hello? We gotta be real careful about this. The rocky roller? Okay. What the heck? Keep rolling, rolling, rolling. Okay. What is that? In the dripstone cave. So this is a dripstone cave. I think we can kill it. Oh, yes. Perfect. We got a rocky shot. Okay, we're gonna see what that does later. Um, for now, I do want to get this dripstone, though. Um, thanks for dropping it, I guess. Oh, diamonds. Okay, we don't have any, so... We're gonna take that. Oh my gosh, it's not even, like, an actual diamond. I'm so sad. Please tell me I've actually found something. <laughs> Um, it's kind of been a pretty dead cave, like nothing really too crazy, but I need to be careful because this might actually have traps sometimes. Okay, it didn't have a trap this time, but I'm actually going to go ahead and make some of these into sticks and 
Let's see. So it just has paper, a cartography table, and a furnace. And this has some coal, which is gonna be handy. I hear ya. We got more diamonds. So they turn into rough diamond. I'm not sure how this is going to work. But oh my god, we have to do sandpaper polishing? What? I'm not sure how this mod works. I really don't know, but it sounds interesting. I didn't realize that some of the ores that we were mining would literally turn into like something else. So I don't know. I feel like that's pretty cool. But it is an extra step into getting diamonds. So I don't know how I feel about it. <laughs> um, but I'm not sure if we actually get more or if it's just like a process. Another diamond. And you fossils are not slick. I saw you. There's also some gold right here. Um, it just looks like a regular villager to me. Oh my gosh, that's so scary. Oh my god, oh my gosh, please. I thought it was just a bat, but it's like a whole thing. Oh my gosh. What is that? A wilden wing. I think we're gonna need that for one of the things I'm gonna craft, if I'm not mistaken. <gasps> Five diamonds in a single chest? Hello? I'm just gonna slash home and put some of the stuff away. And I'll also be making a new pickaxe, but I will be right back. Okay, I definitely want to take this diamond and we also got a villager's hat which decreases the trading prices of villagers. And we did just complete a ton of achievements and oh my gosh, please don't be rude and interrupt me. Um, this one is an amateur archaeologist and I found an artifact which is this villager hat and is there anything else here that... I need to go do or like take um well first of all i do really like these dripstone blocks so we'll take some of that oh gosh okay i do need to light this up slowly but surely there's like a ton of things spawning um yes um Ooh, there's like a mushroom area over here. What is this phosphor fungus? I feel like it looks really pretty, so I'm just gonna take that. And over here, it's a bit scary these caves because not only are there like spikes everywhere, there is also like lava, which I hate. Wait, who's that? No, I'm not sure what that was, but that was kind of scary. It just disappeared, but I'm gonna go and... Oh crap, oh crap, oh my goodness, <gasps> the water just clutched up my life, oh my gosh. A lucky rock, chance for extra loot when mining, wait, that is so good. An emerald? Wait, hello? Did that just randomly give me a diamond and an emerald? You're telling me I could just keep mining stone and things like that? And it just randomly drops me loot. Wow, that is so cool. Okay, I officially ran out of pickaxes. I have gone around this cave quite a bit. But I have to say, I'm a little bit disappointed. So I started from this area to this area. And um, I mean, I'm really glad I found diamonds, first of all. But in terms of like finding materials, I'm a bit disappointed. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. 
Um, there wasn't really like any materials that I like liked. Like this whole cave system was filled with deep slate, tuff, as well as gravel. Um, at one point I literally started to think that this gravel was like diorite or something. <laughs> So, I'm definitely gonna come back to this cave to gather the materials that I might have missed, but other than that, I'm not really excited to go back to it because there's not really any loot or materials. So, so far our armor is doing alright, but this is everything that I've got from mining, like all the ores and materials. And we also got some more mob stuff and also some artifacts and I basically just put all my blocks here. Um, I feel like it was quite successful, you know, it wasn't as great as I wanted it to be, but it is a start. And like, we could put these plants around, which is so pretty. I think I'm gonna have this in my actual house when all of that starts to get built. With all this stuff now, I think I'm gonna go ahead and make myself more tools because we are gonna need to go mining a bit more and i'm also gonna make myself a diamond pickaxe so let's go ahead and make our first diamond pickaxe and she is here so it looks like we can actually polish our ores in a grindstone um it seems a little easy to craft i think so I'm just gonna hover over these. I think we could just do it with a regular grindstone. Um, I, I don't know what difference it would make. This is normal grindstone, but I mean, we do have these things for a diamond grindstone. Apparently, it is quite specific and it needs a polished cobble deep slate, which is actually kind of a nice block. Um, but let's go ahead and go craft that into a slab and we now have a diamond grindstone. So we got the bedazzled achievement. Um, I'm just gonna place the grindstone somewhere over. Oh gosh, I don't know where to put this. Um, <laughs> uh, we can just put it here. So, oh, how, so I wonder how this works. Do we just literally put this here? Oh. <gasps> You have to like click on it. It's not like a regular grindstone. And that turns them into diamonds. I'm going to try it with a rough cinnabar. Oh, it turns into a cinnabar as well as a redstone dust. Okay. Can be obtained by polishing rough cinnabar on a grindstone. Okay. Does it? I think it's giving a lot more than it should, but I think that's what a regular um one does anyway so 53 26 28 okay it's by luck oh my god you got so much more xp this way which is so nice oh my gosh okay i actually like this it's not bad and it gives so much xp which is really nice we also got a rough cinnabar shard which turns into a cinnabar shard so i'm just gonna go and keep right clicking on this it looks like we have no space but we can put that and all the raw stuff i think i still have to smelt so so i'll just put this here for now oops there you go i kind of want to put all the materials that i'm gonna build my house with in these chests and these crafting tables so i'm gonna I put another one because this one is starting to get full and these are just the possibilities of materials that I'm gonna use. Now I would like to explore a little bit more because a lot of these I didn't actually explore the area and I mainly only explored it because as you can tell, um, they are where people live so yeah. I was visiting Dawn and David and I actually found a spider cave near their house so that's something I definitely want to do as well. But before we go exploring, I have most of the things ready and I brought saddles and a guide in case I find any 
animals that I want to tame. And I think I'm also going to bring bone. I'll also be bringing my bed, of course. But before we leave, I want to craft a couple of things. So I would like to craft a backpack. And I think I have all the materials for that one. Um, yeah, I believe I do. I have leather. I have sticks. And I also have uh, a chest. Um, we just have to actually craft it. So, let's go ahead and make the chest. So let's go ahead and make this one. I didn't realize I could craft this, honestly. I just put it in my little inventory thing. But we now have a backpack. We did complete a quest for it and it gives an upgrade base which I will be claiming later. We can also upgrade this by using I believe copper but we don't have one smelted at the moment so we can just do that one later. And then I'm also going to craft a cage which requires iron bars and regular iron ingots. So I'm gonna craft a cage. I think I'll make two just in case. Uh, I'm not really sure. Let's see. Okay, we do have enough for two, so I'm just gonna go with that. Alrighty, so we got all the things we need for animals, a cage, and also a backpack. But there are two more things I want to craft. This next one I'm gonna craft is not necessarily for the adventure, but I wanted to just craft it to be able to go fishing on my own time. But I saw that we actually had the aquaculture mod in here. So I want to test this out eventually. I don't know if I'll do it in today's episode, but um, I shouldn't have done that because I did accidentally just waste the durability. But yeah, I'm also just going to go to sleep really quickly. And the last thing I wanted to craft is something that is going to help us on the exploration. So some of you guys may or may not know of this mod. Now this nature's compass is really good for exploring because you get to find different kinds of biomes you might need. And it looks like that actually finished a quest for us. I believe, where's the quest? Oh, over here. Um, so it's gonna give us a random sapling, which is kind of fun. <gasps> Wait. The nature's compass is a magical tool similar to a dowsing rod, which will allow you to find your way to a particular type of biome. Simply right click while holding it in order to search for the biome you want. So um, I would like to save this, but I think it could be really interesting. Um, this one is also a choice reward. So it looks like we can get saplings that we want. And to be honest with you guys, I crafted this because I want the wisteria sapling from the flower forest but since we started our adventure so we're just gonna avoid doing the sapling for now or this um choice reward i'm gonna do it if there's any like saplings that i struggle finding i think that's what i'll do so that's kind of exciting but <laughs> kind of scary because i don't know what sapling i'm going to need okay i'm just gonna put the extra stuff away because we don't want too much stuff on our inventory and i'm gonna put all of these in my backpack as well as the string and we're gonna leave the iron bars oh but first i'm gonna cook a little bit more food because we clearly don't have any at all <laughs> i actually went into this battle tower and made it to the top because my friend lucy was kind of exploring the area and she happened to be looting that tower so i also got some of the loot and i have been hearing a dog somewhere around here oh there you go there's a wolf around here okay i'm gonna try to tame it really quickly so let's see how would you like to be my friend oh hello i don't have any raw meat for you at the moment but we now have another wolf so if you guys have any name suggestions for this wolf let me know down below so I went and got started on this adventure, but something actually crossed my head and we need some sort of way to basically travel, so like some sort of transportation. And I have been seeing these zombie horses around my area. Um, I think it's this one and I think there's another one somewhere over here, but I mean right now I don't see it, I just see this one. So. I actually want to try and tame you because I thought they would burn in the sunlight, but apparently not. Well, I guess we can't really tame it, can we? I think we just literally... Do we just put a saddle on you? No, okay. 
So, okay, before we actually leave, oh my gosh, once again, <laughs> I'm so sorry. I have been trying to get this adventure started, but I keep, like, remembering to do things. But it's okay, because I really want this zombie horse. For some reason, both these zombie horses are the same size, and I actually think it might have to do with them not being big enough. So, hopefully I can tame one um, whenever I find like a bigger one i think that's the issue thankfully i do see a donkey on the map i actually saw this donkey earlier but um as much as possible i wanted to do the zombie horses and it's this donkey right here i also can't ride you you're joking you're joking okay <laughs> okay i think we're just gonna try to tame it <gasps> We did it! Okay, so now this one we can actually ride. Um, is there a way to see this one's stats? No, it doesn't seem like we can see the stats, but it is okay. Um, we now have a donkey, but I feel like this donkey looks... ...small too, no? I... Is it just me, but is this donkey kind of small? <laughs> um, I feel like I'm like taller than the donkey. Yeah, okay. I'm pretty sure this was like a pretty small donkey, so I was a bit worried, but it's okay because now we have a little friend to actually go adventure with and now we can put out our nature's compass and I am going to have to travel 5,000 blocks away, so <laughs> I'm a little scared for this, but I'm adventuring, so I'm excited for the things that we're going to find and yeah. This guy is actually pretty fast. The jump height is not that crazy, I think. But for a small donkey, this is not bad at all. Oh my gosh, you are such a cute one. A ferret? 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 A ferret. No! Oh my god! Oh my god! I'm so sorry! <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, buddy. Okay, I want to try and see if I can tame this guy. I'm pretty sure we could tame this little guy, so I'm gonna go and take you into my cage. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Wait, I'm so excited. Okay, that is such a cute little animal to have. I think that one can help us, like, um, hunt for some things. So that'll be really interesting. Um, yeah, I think I'm going the right direction. It's not so bad, but I think what I'm gonna do is just kind of explore on my own and... If there's anything interesting that I find, I will definitely, definitely show you guys. It looks like in this area, there's actually another Hexerai village, or well, two. Um, there's a few other structures that I don't think I've seen before. And right here, there is this weird, like, structure. I can't really tell. What is this? Ars Nouveau, a flourishing arch log. Okay. Never seen it, but just based off of the map, there's a lot of Wilden Stalker. Which I came across last episode, and they were not fun to be around. And all the things in red that you're gonna see are things that I need to come back to, to loot, and, you know, all that other fun stuff. Um, over here though, it looks like we got a little... structure I'm not sure what the point of this one is but I guess I will just take that and there's also some clay here right, we're also gonna need some sugarcane for our house I think we might have some at home though and here's the hex ride village but we did just go there last episode like to a different one so I think we're gonna avoid doing that one for now this is quite a cute orchard um that's another thing i would like to do in this series is make myself like a little orchard um not necessarily like this one but just one literally filled with fruits oh my god <gasps> it's a crow you know i think i'm eventually going to need one so let's see if we can capture <gasps> yes oh my god there's so many of them Okay, I kind of want to waypoint this because I am going to need some crow later. So, let's do that. <laughs> um, my cages are already full, which is probably an issue. Flower box, cute. Okay. This is a supplementary's um, 
the building. So let's go and have a look around. Oh, another lead. Thank gosh. Okay. Some food, iron nuggets, or right, flint and raw gold. I will leave the flint, but I will take the raw gold because I desperately need them. And oh, oh. Whoa, this enchanted book looks cool. A blank rune and a piercing book. Another sack, amethyst shard. Potion of slow falling, okay. Another wart, wait, wait. A bucket of slime, oh, wait, wait. <laughs> I'm sorry, nether warts? I feel like those are so rare in mod packs. I'm like pretty shook that I just got this. Uh, okay, you know what? I'm gonna put some things in the sack. I wasn't gonna take the sack, but now I'm basically being forced to take it. <laughs> Just because of not having enough items or inventory space. Um, yeah, I know there's also a brewing stand right here. Yes, another wart. I'm surprised there was no achievement for the nether wart, but that's just me. Okay, I don't know about you guys, but did I just lose my bed? <laughs> I have no clue where I put my bed, but it's fine. We're just gonna use this villager's bed because now it's turning nighttime. There are so many interesting things and like structures that I'm seeing, but I'm just gonna try my best to avoid it <laughs> because I'm technically like, I just obviously I'd love to stop by those places, but right now I am on a hunt for. A flower forest but if there's anything that's like really interesting that i'd like to check out i think i'll stop by it but for example like this little structure here i'm not sure what it is but it may or may not have loot it looks just like an abandoned village though from what it looks like up ahead though oh my gosh let's talk about it like this is huge. I don't know what this is. Ruins of the deep? Do you dare to travel to the depths? Um, hello? <gasps> what is this? What the heck? Okay. Whoa, first of all, I'm gonna make a little waypoint here and I think I'm gonna claim this area. Um, just for the moment. Just, just. Or, oops, what am I doing? Um, just for now, like temporarily, I just, just so people know that this is like, whoa, you know, that this is like a thing. Oh my gosh, I don't know what this is. It seems like, yeah, I have no clue. Okay, this all looks really interesting. Um, but I definitely, this is something I'm gonna have to come back to. Because it looks like there's still going to be a lot of things that we're going to need. Because I don't really want to go down. Um, more saddles. Experience. And some other stuff which I'll come back for. Another saddle. <laughs> it looks like this thing goes down pretty deep. But I cannot wait to explore this. Um, and there's actually a lectern here. So, Journal Day 182. Our team of researchers have begun to descend into the depths of these ruins. They go down much further than we first anticipated. Okay, this we're gonna definitely have to come back for. Um, it is really interesting, but I do not have the time for this right now because I need to build myself a house. So, I'm gonna come back for you. It's a village. This village looks sick. Come to think of it, I actually haven't come across any village. I guess there was this one, but I think I just teleported to somebody there. And... Oh, there's one over here, but I didn't check it out. But this is another one I'm gonna have to come back to. <laughs> I literally just have to come back to everything because... We never have inventory space. Um, even with a backpack, this is still all so hard to like manage, I guess. But it's fine. Um, 
So all of these things that you guys are seeing, they're just things I'm gonna... I like to come back to, like, off camera. A ton of bread. A chalk box. Well, that works, so we can just put this here. Uh, what else? Tomato seeds we need. And onions, too. Um, you know what? These saddles are gonna have to actually... Well, I don't want to leave them. That's this village. Oh my gosh, it's a party up in here. Um, does this village by any chance have a waystone? Oh my gosh, they're actually tending to their animals. <gasps> a baby villager. Okay, this is a cute village. Definitely gonna come back for this one. Um, I just don't know why they have a ton of water, um water wells but yeah i think it should have a waystone i don't know i'm gonna come back to this it's fine now that we have like a donkey everything will be easier to come back to and right now we are 3,000 blocks away a sludge oh no not a sludge no it's a sludge what the heck a tar bucket tar Wait, I'm scared. Oh my gosh, wait. I'm getting chills. Because this is mud. I think it's left by the sludge. Interesting. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Can we... No, it doesn't do anything. We'll get a bucket of tar. I'm not sure what this is. Um, I do see it on the map, so we'll come back to this one again. Oh my gosh. Strawberries from the Poland mod. Oh, you already have that one. <laughs> um, or Neapolitan, I think. So many interesting things happening here. Okay. I'm gonna put... I'm gonna activate this waystone I just found. And we're gonna name it... We're gonna put this one, yeah. I'm like totally going off the wrong direction, but there's something really interesting in this map, okay? There's this big house over here, and I also see something here. Oh, it's a tower again. Oh my gosh, look. You know what? Actually, no, let's not look. It's 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 an Ars Nouveau thing again. <laughs> oh, I think this is... um. Similar to the thing we were at in the beginning. Um, so, definitely want to check this out. That is a big house, okay? Uh, I think I've seen this once in a mod pack before, but I never explored it. So, that's gonna be fun and interesting to look through. Okay, I'm not sure what structure this is from, but I refuse to believe there's only two floors, because. Because, no. What is this? Well, I guess it's just like a starter house. I mean, hey, still not bad for like a beginner's type thing. Like if you were a beginner, this is like the perfect little starter house, to be honest. Oh, oh, horse berries. Okay, I know for a fact these ones we're going to need. So don't mind if I do. And they're also on the way anyway. <laughs> Um, we'll put that there and come back, donkey. Yeah, these trees, I'm gonna have saplings for all of them too. I just don't really want to gather them because they will for sure take up space in the inventory. <laughs> Sorry, I've kind of messed it up, but there is a battle tower nearby and it is this really pretty like green house. And I think I've also seen this before. Uh, I just don't know what kind of loot they have inside. But there's a wandering trader. And we actually got some emeralds. Um, there's postcards, but I don't really think we need it. Uh, maybe a fur... Mm, I don't really want fur sapling, actually. So I guess I don't really need you right now, trader. Um, oh, there's a zombie head, which I'll take. That's cool. Um, there's also engineer's goggles. Okay. 
um, looks a little silly, but I'm gonna keep it on for now. And there's also an enchanted book. Which doesn't have any enchantments. <laughs> oh, a skeleton skull. Oh, yes. Okay, obtain a skeleton skull. I didn't realize that that was a quest, so that's cool too. Um, oh my gosh. A really cracked iron sword. It has mending, sharpness, durability, zinc ingots, gold, gold apples, as well as another diamond pickaxe. Which is so awesome. I am definitely going to come back to this structure. Um, some books, some papers. I think this house, if I'm not mistaken, has a lot of foods too. Yep, okay. These are some really cool items. And I also am going to take this creeper head. Oh, the cuckoo clock. That's so cute. Um, there's also a ton of food, which your girl actually desperately needs. Um, turtle eggs. I think these we can't break though, unfortunately. Steak. A ton of food. Oh, yes. Okay, this is so much food, actually. Um. Yep. We're gonna... <laughs> we're gonna need all these. The rest I'll come back for because I don't have space for them. It's a good time to go and sleep and after this, I think it's a good time to empty out my inventory. So I'm gonna go head to my house slash home and then just come back here once I put everything in my chest. Okay, my inventory is a little bit more fixed. Um, <laughs> it's still a little... Well, there's a couple of things. Actually, let's go back home really quickly and put some of the stuff that i forgot to put away so i think we can actually leave some of these things and oh, we can place this brewing stand here for now let's pour us some buckets and things like that and now we are officially here so for the rest of this stuff i'm gonna come back to later just because we don't have the time to go through all of that for now i absolutely love that structure and i wish there was one near my house anyway not me getting distracted literally this whole episode <gasps> wait what is this <gasps> it's a starbuncle oh my gosh it's a starbuncle structure um please don't please don't hurt my my donkey <gasps> wait there's so many starbuncles around stop Okay, I have to get rid of these Loki. Because they're on they're the way. And I see another Tasmanian devil. Um, oh my gosh, this is so cute. Okay, I wonder. Do you guys think it would have anything inside of it? Raw gold. Oh no, I can't even mind that. Okay, we're going to need to take our diamond pickaxe. Yay. Okay, cool. I would like to tame, or not tame, but, okay, I can't believe I'm doing this, but I'm gonna take the cyan wool, because I think there's a task to get, like, all types of wool colors, it seems. So, okay, that one was white wool, so we don't actually need a terracotta. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and sleep sure in the series i would really love to mess around oh my god um i would really love to mess around star bunkles this time uh, i feel like i am never able to get into it but i want to focus on hexerai and i think arts Nouveau. not so much create but we'll see um oh my gosh just a little camp here too okay we'll take that We'll definitely take that. Um, oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god, my horse is literally... Hello? What? Oh my gosh. The apples. Okay, I'm gonna save all my apples for you. Um, anyway. Um, any apples in these shells? What?
Hello? What was that naughty ah. sound, sir? Oh, was he working on his fletching table? Because that's sick. Hmm. Melon seeds? I don't think we have. Um, hidden chest. Whoa, TNT. Amethyst shard. Okay. We'll take those. That sound is so scary. Please stop. Anything here? Any other secrets he might have? Doesn't seem like it. Okay. Donkey's healed up now. That was so freaking scary. Oh my gosh. Okay. Freaking campfires. Okay. Let's look through these chests and look for more foods. Ooh, a bow. Okay. Um, I don't... I'm gonna have to get that one later because we don't have space again. Okay, this is the biome I'm living in, so I don't need these flowers. But I did stumble upon this little cave thing. And they do, it looks like they have diorite and a bunch of other pretty crystal clutters. So I'm gonna take some of these. And for sure, these diorites. Um, anyways, you guys didn't see that. Oh, we got diamond off of that. I actually put both the lucky rocks. Um. Oh, wait. This actually lessens our look. <laughs> um, but you could, I guess, stack it if you wanted to. Um, and you're able to get like more materials this way, which I think is so cool. Um, wow, that just dropped so much. Okay. Oh, now this one we can stack. Oh, that does give a lot more. <laughs> Now, I'm not proud of this decision, but I accidentally... Well, okay, I wanted to dig down here, but I didn't want the horse to come with me, or the donkey to come with me. So, this might be a very bad idea. Okay, come on, donkey. Let's get out of here. Oh, no. There you go. Okay, perfect. And I think for this area, we can just go like this. And that. Yep, that works too. <laughs> Oh, I made the terrain so ugly. I'm so sorry to anybody that sees that. Ooh, a waystone! Perfect. Honestly, now I'd like to say that I've traveled quite far. Um, we're basically, we basically made a straight line in the map. Um, so I feel like that's a little bit much, but, um, we can name this now. We can name this near Flower Forest. A splattered car. Oh, I guess it's just from the prehistory mod. I'm gonna get out. Oh my god, I'm gonna get out of this area because I think we could get trapped on that tar. Uh, yeah. And I think. Is this a village or just a structure? Oh. Wait, this one? I want to check this one out before we head there. And you are so pretty. This white horse is so pretty, but... I think my theory was right, because this horse seems bigger than the donkey. So... I think we couldn't ride the zombie horse earlier, because he was simply shorter. Um, anyway, so... Yeah, another donkey. Uh, let's check out this thing. Um, I'm gonna pick up the soul lantern, I think. 
gonna go in here. Is this like a church? Is this a dungeon? I hear things. Shadow jump, pal strider, and detonation? What? Okay, that looks and sounds interesting. If I'm being honest. Um, we truthfully don't have any inventory space for all this, but oh my gosh, I want to get this rabbit hide. Okay. Well, we can totally come back for these things later too. I'm not really like in a rush to get anything. But there is a sludge and I'm terrified of you. I should be because you're attacking me. Should we try to kill it? Whoa, that thing hits hard. I don't think I should attempt to go near that thing until I'm fully healed. But I think we have to take advantage of this thing being stuck. Um, otherwise, I don't think I can slain it. Okay. Okay, cool. Okay, encounter a sludge. It came from the pit. So I'm guessing that this sludge... Spawns from this pit. Um, I want to get what it dropped though. That's what I want to do. A fossil. Okay. Oh, I'm scared. Okay. I can throw away this copper and this dirt and pick up... Pick up the tar fossil. What can we do with this? Okay, we can make the book. And we can analyze it. Okay, I think this is to get started with dinosaurs. If I'm not mistaken. Again, I'm gonna come back for all of this later. But it all sounds interesting. Okay. Also, I see another Starbuncle thing and a new type of tower. I haven't come across any towers like that, so... That will also be interesting to start doing. And I also learned donkeys can actually swim now. Um, this might be like a new Minecraft thing. But I didn't know that they could actually swim through. Or I, I guess they've always been able to. I don't know. I don't remember to be honest with you. I just didn't expect like a small animal to be able to swim. <gasps> Sunflowers! I think we're getting near our destination. Because we're starting to see sunflowers. And I'm gonna take as much of you as I can. Well, I guess that's fine. We could always bone meal it. Um, and I see another interesting thing on the map. Okay. I think this is just like a cave. I don't know if I'm just mistaken. But let's go ahead and head on over to this flower forest. Okay. This is a prairie biome, which is cool too. I'm so glad there's a nearby waystone because, yes. I'm going to be able to pick up all these things. And I already see what I have been searching for. This was stereo log. Oh my goodness. Yes. Okay. Uh, I think... Actually, you know what? I just really need a sapling. <laughs> Please. That only dropped one sapling? Kinda sucks. Oh no. I think they were in here. Okay, more Mysteria. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and break this one. There's a ton of cute little flowers. But unfortunately... I'm a little bit upset about this flower forest. I'm not gonna lie to you. Because why is there only one freaking wisteria tree? What the heck? Okay, what are you? Um, lime seeds, collector's reap. Okay. That we're gonna have to take. Um, it looks like there's, yeah, there's a bunch more like flowers growing in this area compared to like the usual. Because obviously it's a flower forest, but... I didn't expect to find like a lime seed on it. And also, what the heck? Oh, it's a raccoon. 
I didn't realize that I've never met you before. I feel like I see you in every mod pack, but that's just me. <laughs> I would like to tame a raccoon though. Maybe we'll make like sanctuaries for animals. Oh my gosh, that is so sad. Oh, what is this? Oh no, wait. Maybe I spoke too soon, actually. Okay, they have the white variants too. Oh my gosh, I just got so freaking sad. Are you kidding me? You guys were hiding from me, okay. These bees, they have colors on them. They have the flag colors, which is so cute. Um, can you give me some more? Is there another wisteria variant? Let's see. There's blue and pink, which I'm sad. I didn't. I don't really see it on the map, so I think now it's safe to say there's no pink or blue one on this on this flower forest. Um, but honestly, who knows? I, I don't know anymore. <laughs> I also do have five rabbit hide, but I also see bunnies on the map. A rabbits, I guess. Um, and I want to kill at least one of them to get six rabbit hide, or actually maybe both. If I can even kill one, they're so hard to kill. Um, so I'm sorry, but I'm gonna have to do it because I think they're important for crafting a couple of things that I wanted to craft. See what I'm saying? I'm not even gonna be able to kill one. Like, no way. I'm so sorry, rabbit. That was such a pain to do, though. It ran so quickly. Oh my gosh, I couldn't even see where it went. Oh, it's a baby rabbit. <laughs> okay, um, let me go to sleep real quick first. <laughs> okay, I'm not that evil. I'm not gonna get anything out of a baby rabbit. So... We can truthfully leave that one alone. It's fine. Wait, sorry, I got distracted again. But I see that these crystals have yellow and green, which I really want. Okay, I'm just gonna have a quick glance at the area some more um, in hopes to find another nearby flower forest. I don't think there's gonna be one, but you never know, just in case. Um, there's also this other thing again. I just completed the challenge Centennial and it's basically because I had opened 100 loot containers so we got this little trophy. Hi guys, so it has been a few hours since the last clip but I actually went to go home and I also put my stuff away. I went on an adventure with Lucy, we looted lots of structures around like this area over here. There's just a couple of things that I didn't get to show you guys but I did mark them on the map so I could come back to them in a future episode or even just off camera just to get some materials but yeah so i went back home and i also cleared my inventory and i actually need to go ahead and craft a golden lasso because i didn't think my way through this but um i have no way of bringing this guy back unless i want to travel 5,000 blocks again which i really don't want to do so it's pretty easy to craft i should have everything that i need at home Okay, let's go ahead and craft this lasso. We do need gold nuggets, but I see that this is just a raw gold nugget. So I'm pretty sure if we just go ahead and burn all of this. It did it so quickly. Wow, okay. um, We'll do all of that. Really nice. So we just put it here and we now have a golden lasso. I also completed some other quests over here. Um, I'm not really gonna look through them in today's episode, but just to give you guys like a preview, these were things that I've done on and off camera so far. And in that adventure with Lucy, I actually ended up dying. So I'm a little bit sad, but so far on the record, I only have two deaths, but other times that I've died on the server were for server testing purposes. So I'm trying to keep counts of my death because I don't know. I just wanna try not to like die as much as possible <laughs> so yeah um i think was there anything else i can't really tell but yeah 
I'm gonna look through all of that later. Also, I started to plant the wisteria trees and I gave Lucy some. And in return, she has been giving me a bunch of really pretty flowers that she finds. And I'm just so excited. It was a struggle, okay? So we only had two white wisteria sapling and two purple wisteria saplings. But fortunately, Lucy did find another wisteria forest. And she found the other colors. I let her borrow my nature's compass and she came back with... 10, 3, 9, and 7. So I'm really excited, but this is literally how much wood I had to cut down to get to 22 saplings. So I was scared that it was gonna go extinct, <laughs> um, but I'm just really glad that it didn't. Let me see, was there anything else worth mentioning? Oh, yes, okay. Bucket of slime. I think, I don't know if that was earlier or in another time, but Lucy also gifted me this bucket of Dumbo octopus and a bunch of other things like other saplings um like these palm and coconut saplings really cool but this is what the dumbo octopus looks like it is so freaking cute so i'm just excited dude i just want to make areas for animals and it's gonna be so awesome but now it is time for us to go home donkey and we're gonna have to start building the house i'm just gonna slash home to make things easier for me and yeah so i guess this one I'm not sure why there's a timer to be- Oh, I guess it's a timer of using it. Wait, wait, wait. Remaining two seconds. What does that mean? Oh, it can only hold an animal for an amount of time. Wait, that is interesting. It used to never be like that, I think. Go ahead and test this out and see if it would actually like disappear. I don't necessarily want to test it on my donkey, actually. It's my only donkey. <laughs> so we're going to do this another time. Hello. Hello. Can oh my gosh, me? you're talking in game. I'm paying you a visit. Flowers from Lucy. This isn't my episode, yeah. by the way. Oh, hello. <laughs> Say hi. I'm Liam. Huh? Oh, no, no. Connor is asking you who I'm talking to. Okay. <laughs> hi, Connor. Wow, this is so much. I'll get you more flowers. I have nothing else to do this right now. This is so much. Yay, thank you. Well, that is going to be it for today's episode of Cottage Witch. I feel like today has been a quite productive episode, but hopefully the upcoming ones will be more productive. By the way, you guys, before we end today's episode, I just wanted to say I may or may not do my house off camera. And it's because I really would like to take my time as much as possible when building my house for the series. Because I want it to be like, not like a perfect home, but just i wanted to have everything that i want really when i build on camera it takes me a long long time and i get demotivated especially filming so i don't know i might add some parts on camera but a lot of parts will probably be off camera so thank you guys so much for watching i'm really really excited to start working on the magic mods so that's why i wanted to prioritize my house so just i could focus on making an area for them and things so yeah Thank you all so much for watching and happy cozy season. Goodbye!